Home of the Breakfast Club, Angie Martinez, and that hip hop and RB, it's your main man, M Easy. It is the Sunday sit down, and this afternoon, we've got actor, and I didn't even know this, singer songwriter Chaz Lamar in the building this afternoon. What's going on, fam? What's up? I feel like I should raise my voice too, like you, man. What's up? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm always energetic, I'm always, I've Yo, always got li live in. Turned down for what? For, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but explain to me some of the songs that you've written for, because that. That was a surprise to me when I read that. Right on. Well, I'm one of those singer-songwriter artists that do mostly my music, but I'm open to working with other artists. I've done some independently. Uh, young lady, if you ever good on iTunes, check her out, Patrice Covington. Um, and then I did some stuff that wound up in uh, what uh, Tyler Perry's movie. I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. The one with Janet Jackson on it, so I should definitely know the name of uh, uh. With that one. But either way, uh, uh, I have a song called Chemical Reaction on that. Why did I get married to? That's what that is. Um, um, a couple of TV shows, but I haven't worked with commercial artists mm -hmm. uh, just yet. I know them, but I haven't worked <laughs> with them. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, but uh, as an artist, of course, I produced my album, and I'm working on the second one now. So I produced mine called Love and Truth. Um, it was one that our brother Steve Harvey actually did a lot to make it uh, make a buzz and it hit the scene okay. really nicely in an independent way. Um, that was 2010. And so um, I did all of that, and then I'm working on another one now. Now, let's get into the acting stuff that you're doing. You've mm -hmm. been acting for quite some time. I remember mm -hmm. you from Moesha. Dang. Back in my days, I remember you from Moesha. Yeah, yeah. What, are, what are you working on currently? What's, Moesha's what's in, in your town right now, man. I hear that. <laughs> she was singing in subways yeah, and all that. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. But um, so now I just got back into it. So 2015, the beginning of this year, I've done uh, some stuff for Fox and Disney so far. Mm -hmm. And so what's next in this business, I do not know. But so far, that's what I've done uh, this year. But it's been about three years since I've done anything on the level that I was doing it before um, in television and film. Um, Broadway brought me to New York. Mm. And so um, after I'd done a pilot uh, with the guy, Nick Lachey, um, that was 06, then Color Purple brought me here. Mm -hmm. And so I did Color Purple on Broadway playing Harpo with our girl that we all love, Fantasia. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I moved from there to do Dream Girls. And then I hadn't done nothing for about a year and a half at that time. Now I'm back in, um, in television and film. Now, there's... The, there's, this, um there, there's the, a view of black actors or black movies that black people don't support or you only, there's oh, black movies. Mm -hmm. And it seems like from what, looking at your stuff, a lot of them, you get cast in those type of urbanish mm -hmm. movies. What, mm -hmm. have you, what are your thoughts on that? Like, is it, do you think black people just don't support it or what, what is it? Well, as far as what I'm cast in, it has to do with me being right for what I go out for. Gotcha. Um, and so it depends on what's out there. Um, I could be cast even more stereotypically, but I just choose not to be. Because there's a whole bunch of stereotypical so-called black films mm -hmm. or projects going on. Um, but I just want to see us be more balanced. So I don't really go out for those. My agent manager knows I'm not even interested. Um, but um, as far as... What's going on now, overall, the look of black movies with black people support and all of that, um, I think they support what entertains them, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. And so I think it's a deeper question of, you know, um, how we see ourselves. Because, you know, with a lot of folks protest, the movies that they protest, they say, you know, this is not a good image, you know, of, of black people or this doesn't represent, you know, black people in America or, or overall. It's just a group and all of that. Well, the thing is, those movies or those projects, they get a lot of um, support. Somebody goes and buys his ticket. Somebody goes and look at him. Um, and so people like him. But it is unbalanced. It's unbalanced because um, there is more to us. There is no black culture. That's just my personal opinion. There is no black culture because black is too big. It's too wide. You know what I mean? It's just like going over to Africa. That Africa is not a city. It's not. It's not even. <laughs> okay. It's not a country. Okay, I see what it's you're a continent. That. You see what I'm saying? It's too many of us. We're, we're everywhere. So many styles and types of us. So there is no black culture. So when you come over to America, even here, there is no black culture. You walk down one two fifth. You know what I'm saying? Or one sixteenth. I was saying you'll see a whole bunch of the Africans just chilling outside playing games where when their, their their royal uh what they say, coming to america you, you know, know what i'm saying let, let them take our priestly robes so they're, they're, <laughs> they're wearing that you go you know one two fifth it's a whole nother look you go on the east side it's a whole nother look go down to brooklyn so there is no one black culture so i would like to see 
projects that are um, that that show more of a balance of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, you have the hood, but then you also have the Huxtables. There's a whole bunch of the Huxtables. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? That we have one show. You know what I mean? That that put us in that light, but that's it's that's not so one crazy, family right? in this country that's like that. So you know. Speaking of the Huxtables, any yeah. thoughts? You're from Philly, correct? <laughs> All day. Well, north, <laughs> south, or west? South. I I was raised in North. I was born. Oh my God. Southwest went to school. I I, used to, <laughs> I did radio in Philly for about six months. That's why oh, right I on. feel a little yeah. connected to Philly. Right, right, um, right speaking of Philly and everything, the Huxtables. Yeah. Bill Cosby. Yes. What's how do you? What are your thoughts on the on the whole pill situation? You think? I mean, I is can, he guilty? Well, here's the thing. I can only speculate like everybody else. You right. You know what I mean? Now I will say at this point, um, I don't care. At this point, at this point, I don't care. Now, of course, we all we want to be up on the Joneses. We want the news. What happened? Who did it? Why? You know what I mean? So it's a lot of, uh, of fun. You know what I mean? But at the same time, um, I don't think that this this situation with him can discredit what he has given to America, mm. not just mm. brown America, but to America. You know what I mean? Because he could have gone any direction he wanted to go, but he went in the, in the direction that lift us up. Now, in his personal life, you know, if if he did it, that's jacked up. If he didn't do it, it's really jacked up. You know what I mean? But they will not, in my, not in my mind, or uh, among my family, they will not tarnish the good that he has bought by what has just come out. Now, if, if that happened, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, you know what they say? Well, you, you do know. Somebody came and said it had happened. You know, but it's their word against it's somebody it's else's. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So sure. we, we don't know, you know, but I am a big fan of Bill Cosby. I appreciate I don't know him personally. You know, for all I know, he could be the meanest son of a gun. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, know but, right. as, but as an artist, I've learned to appreciate the art. You know what I mean? Because if I start getting caught up in the people's personal stuff, I won't like nobody. You're right. Everybody's business is their own. Yep. Well, I I feel you. Now, now, I don't think he needed to drug nobody to get none. But, that, see, know, I think that's my thing. But, but he may have. Because, Why would Bill Cosby have to drug because, gir because girls still tell stars no. You see what I'm saying? Stars still get rejected, believe it or not. See, you, we see all of the, all of the, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, what, what we call them, you know, uh, the, the, what is groupies? We see all the groupies, uh -huh. you know what I mean? But there are still a bunch of women who will say no or who will want to play the game of weight and not now. And so it's not automatic that a man of that stature is going to have whoever he wants. He can have a whole lot and he can have most of who he wants, but there's still somebody that'll say not yet or hold up or flat out no. So they, you know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted just because they're a star, just because, you know, they got mega millions, just because it seems like everybody wants them. There's some that don't. Chaz Lamar in the building speaking <laughs> some truth right now. It's Power 1051. It's a Sunday sit down with M Easy. Now, Chaz, why did you get in why did you get into acting? Besides into for, the, for the ladies yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know. But, <laughs> no, but I got into it because of the gift. You know what I mean? Um I wanted to be when I was a kid, I wanted to be a lawyer and a minister. Mm. That was where I was at, at that time. Okay. In, in, my, in my head, that's where I was. And so um, because of the gift, I went to a Disney audition, you know, knocked it out the park. They said, look, he's not going to get this part. Um, I think it's an unspoken reason why at the time. But, you know, they was like, you're not going to get this, but he needs to be in this business. So, uh, you know, if I set you up, she was talking to my mother and I, if I set you up with an uh, agent in New York, will you at least go and meet him? My mother looked at me, said, you want to? I said, okay, look, it was cool. We came here to New York and it was, it was on from there. And then I started booking. So this is where like the Bible Bible says your gift will make room for you. Yeah. So my gift made room for me. You know what I mean? And so it was is actually just following the gift. Steve Harvey says that too. He says, don't follow your passion, follow your gift. He said, if I follow my passion, I wouldn't be pretty much nothing because I wanted to play basketball, he said. You know what I mean? But he wasn't <laughs> able to do that because of injuries and this, that, and the other. But he followed his gift. He said, yo, I can make people laugh. I'm noticing that. Follow what, what he was gifted at, and that's what took him all the way. Now everything dude touches is it's like, Steve Harvey it's ridiculous, got right? Why? <laughs> you know, Steve, let me hold but, a couple dollars. You know, but let me tell you what Steve told me one day. He pulled me to the side. He said, man, when you look up and you ain't got nothing to show for everything you've done, that's when you start working. Let me wait a minute. Let me let that sink in. Sink that sink in. Yep. One time. Years later, I got it. He said, when you look up and you ain't got nothing to show for everything you've done, that's when you start working. Mm. That's normally when people be like, all right, it ain't work. I'm out. I'm just give up. No, he's no. That's actually when you start. Yeah, let's see it. I like when people <laughs> drop jewels like that. Chaz Lamar in the building. It's a Sunday sit down. Now, give me one of the your favorite actors growing up that inspired you while you were just getting into your grind. You know, you the first one was Danny Glover. 
Oh, okay. And, we, and then Danny Glover, uh, Danny Glover, because of his part in Color Purple. Then we went on over to uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Denzel Washington. Um, you don't hear this name much, but I think that she's just one of the most passionate actresses. Oprah Winfrey, Diana mm. Ross. You know what I mean? I mean, it's some, it's some, it's some bad ones out there, man. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay. Because they may be famous for other things, but people don't. You know, but if they were just actresses. People would have been like, there's some bad actresses, dude. But you're used to Diana, you know, yeah. swinging hair and stuff on the stage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. And Oprah just being, you know, the, the earthly god. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but yeah, it's a bunch of actors I love. Now, action movies. Yeah. I, I, when are we going to see Chaz Lamar Yo. star as an action hero? Man, your boy just left the gym just now. That's where see, I'm coming I, from. I I'm, I, man, you a prophet, bro. You a prophet <laughs> with a gold chain, man. <laughs> you know? No, but uh, but hopefully, man, I am I'm working toward. In other words, just like this is stuff you do when you're not when you're not working. Like I'm not doing a show right now or a movie right now. So this is not the time for me to be kicking back and chilling. This is time for me to be getting ready for the opportunity because yes. when it comes, I ain't gonna have time to get ready. You're you right. know what I mean? So I'm in the gym now. I want to make sure that I'm available to not just do dramatic or uh, comedic roles, but also actually because I'm very much into fitness. I'm all about. I got my caffeine sitting right on mm -hmm. natural caffeine gotcha. sitting in front of me right now. So hopefully soon, man. Does that mean you'll be doing all your own stunts then? If they let me. Oh. Now, when I was a little boy, I did this movie called Queen with Halle Berry. She wanted to stun herself, got on a horse and tore her back up. So, Ish. you know what I mean? You got to be ready. You're going to do Ish. your own stunts, you know. And then, and some of the best, they do their stunts and stuff start getting broken. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, that's I, the I, look, You know, Sweet Brown, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, if they let me, I'll do a few. I know, that's right. Chaz Lamar in the building. It's Power 105 when it's M easy, the easy sit down, the, the, the Sunday sit down, excuse me. Um, I want to thank you for coming by, man. Thank I appreciate you. For you. Me, man. I know you're in a rush. I don't want to hold you too long. Right but I appreciate on, you coming by and hanging out and giving the people what they, what they want to hear. Thanks, brother. Absolutely. All Tell right, them how man. they can get in contact with you with the Twitter, the oh, Instagram, of course, yeah, all stuff. of that. Uh, I have this this really low self esteem name called Handsome Chaz. Handsome Chaz. <laughs> so that's my Instagram, Handsome Chaz. Facebook, Handsome Chaz. Um, Twitter, I forgot what that one was, but those are the ones I'm on. Instagram and Facebook, those are the ones I'm actually on every day. So. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Appreciate right. you for coming by, Chaz. Thanks, the Sunday sit down. Appreciate you. Right on. Absolutely.